hello you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl miss ig aka pfc gooey and today i'm back with another video so um this i mean i know you guys will be saying that oh she always say this stuff but yes it is actually a fact this is actually also a highly requested video on how i got my braces while in the army and everything and today i will go ahead and explain you uh, the process of how i got braces so um first thing first if you are new to this channel i would say uh, so first thing first if you are new to my youtube channel i would like to say welcome and uh go ahead share like subscribe do whatever you want but please hit the subscribe button and if you are an um old follower or a regular subscriber or whatever i would like to thank you for staying tuned and thank you again for um keep watching and everything so first thing first the first question I get is, um, the first question I get is, did the army pay for braces or how do, how do you qualify to get braces or what do you need to do once you get to your duty station and, or when can you get braces? So first thing first, I would like to clarify this. The United States army, the U.S. army did not pay for my braces. So I'm currently paying out of pocket for these braces at an off post installation, like an orthodontic um, clinic near um, where I'm stationed at so the next question is why is the army did not pay for it even though I'm enlisted I'm active duty but well so when you are in the army the army does not necessarily have to pay for dental you do get free health insurance and uh, you do get dental too but it depends because um, braces is considered as aesthetic and if like your teeth are not kind of messed up like pretty messed up like really bad like at the point where it prevents you from like doing your work or from talking or from eating um, they actually give you that service and it's free but for my case they told me that I had perfect teeth even though you guys can tell I do not have perfect teeth like I have gaps all over my mouth and everything so um, having braces is something that I always wanted to do and it's also like one of the things why I joined the army like I know it's gonna sound silly but it's also like one of the main reason like one of like the main reason why I joined because I did not want to pay five to six hundred five to six I'm sorry five to six thousand dollars out of my pocket just to get braces but when I came in here and I went to see the the dentist and everything they told me oh miss squee sorry but you do not qualify for this 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 and that and then i was like cool like at first it was a shock because i was like damn like i'm active duty like i thought this stuff was free but when you think about it it's not free since it's considered as aesthetic um since i came in here i only met one person I only met one person, like one soldier who had braces, but he had it through the army because his teeth were pretty messed up. Like his stuff was like jacked up. Like you don't want to have teeth like that. But yeah, his stuff was messed up so bad. So the army paid for it and he's fixing his like he and the army is paying for it and the army is fixing his teeth. So um the next question will be um how did my leadership see that? Like I mean how like what do i need to do like how did i let my leadership know so of course since um the dental clinic here told me that i was not qualified for braces on post okay all i did was i did my research i did so since um so after the dental clinic told me that i was not qualified for that so all i did was start doing my research on google you know start calling um clinics and comparing prices and see which one was my better option and also the cheapest one as well as the fastest one because when you get braces that means that you are not deployable usually usually when in the army when you get braces you are not deployable so it's on your um how they call that again i forgot that way it's on your med pros yes it's on your med pros your med pros is like your medical record where it says like all the stuff that you are good on so on dental it will show red that you have braces usually a soldier with braces is a non-deployable soldier that's the reason why you have to ask your chain of command if you could just go ahead and um get braces because 
it's the army is not paying for it so just in case something goes bad or something happens like they tracking that you let them know so they can just fix it just in case so i have to let my first line meaning my platoon sergeant um uh, my uh first sergeant and my commander know that i wanted to get braces of false and then they approved it so all they had to do was just write a memo saying that yes they give me the permission to go ahead and get those braces of false so after they did that i did not give the memo to nobody but i just kept it for my record because once you're in the army you will realize that um a lot of stuff goes missing just randomly like people will start working on your case and just start losing stuff like randomly and you'd be like wow i just gave you that that's why again this is also a learning experience so if you are in the army already or if you are planning on joining the army make sure you have a copy of everything like and i mean it just like make sure you have a copy of everything because people will lose your stuff and then the only person who will be taking care of you is just yourself you only have yourself once you get into the big army so make sure you make copy of copies of everything one or two copies just in case because you never know so back at um yeah let's get back to the story so after that after the fact that i let my first line know and then they write me those and i wrote the memo and then my uh, commander signed it so i kept that for my record and then i just went directly to um the clinic the order the, the i went to the clinic and i told them hey i'm here for a consultation so usually the consultations are free so um that's what i did so i went there with one of my battle buddies he was just with me just in case but i really don't, i didn't have to go with him but i just went with him went with him just in case because i needed like a second opinion like just in case so i went there and then um they did like a scan on my teeth and they told me what was wrong with my uh teeth and everything and they gave me like the price so i was like surprised i was surprised when they told me like how much it cost and everything so when i asked how much it cost they told me like 2600 and i was like are you sure it's 2600 because usually people pay like five six even nine grants just for braces just to get the teeth straight and they was like yes it's just like uh 25 Hundred and I was like, okay, then that I can afford it. So all I did was I put five hundred down, and every month I paid I think about like a hundred or something like that. I really do not remember, and I did like automatic payments. So every month I have to go and get them tightened, and when I have an appointment, I just let my um platoon sergeants know that I have actually an appointment, and then they will just let me go whether it's between work hours or not. I have to make two appointments since I'm paying out of pocket. From me so um that's my braces story so again everybody's stories can be different some people actually are paying out of pocket for their braces and some others are not um but the army is not necessarily gonna pay for your braces if you are planning on getting some and um the process it depends on how bad your teeth are they may if they decide they can't pay for it then it will definitely be fast it really like i'm not gonna lie and they're just gonna put on the braces and they have to tighten them, them up but usually it's like viewed case by case and again maybe the post where i'm at is different from where you guys are at and maybe they can make an exception and give it to you but just in case just in case like you guys want to get braces in the army or you are planning on getting one just be prepared to pay out of your pocket because they're not necessarily going to pay for it so uh i'm glad i know that and i had my braces it's been i think three months right now i will try to do uh some braces update as we go and everything and um yeah you will see right now i only have my top ones i don't know if you can see i only have you see yep right now i only have my top ones i'm getting my bottom ones um not tomorrow but the day after yes on wednesday yes i'm getting my bottom ones on wednesday i will see if i can record it and everything so all i want for my teeth is just like i don't like the gaps on my teeth i don't know if you guys can see it or not i'm sure you can but just look like you see yeah so uh, i just do not like the gap and a lot of people tell me i have a nice smile but sometimes i just do not like my smile you know and um i always wanted to fix my smile 
so now that i have like the opportunity to fix it like i'm kind of happy and i'm excited i'm just ready to you know to take this off and see how i look because they because the doctor told me that my face will definitely look different after this but uh we will see in 18 months hopefully maybe less i don't know but anyway thank you guys so very much for watching again it's me miss aji please if you haven't yet go ahead like and subscribe um it's free you know you're not paying for it and you can see you can see and watch all the videos that i post i usually post once or twice a week and um sometimes not just kidding just kidding but again i thank you guys so very much for watching if you have any questions concerns just go ahead and leave a comment down below or even contact me on my social media i would love to um answer all the questions that you got thank you guys again and bye